Good evening, everybody. I'm Pierre Roberge, The Daily Trader. It is March 17th, and we are going to take a look at uh, what happened at, for Tesla stock today. I am not a stock advisor. Um, I have not been trained in financial analysis. I took some technical analysis uh, courses when I was younger. I worked at the Montreal Exchange. So this is, this is how I got into uh, looking at stocks. So make your own research, do make your own decisions. I am only here to share you what I see and to learn from you guys. So uh, let's go. So Tesla today, well, Tesla gave me a heart attack today. Got to be frank. Uh, Tesla opened very, very low and uh, closed uh, very nicely. So it closed at 708.81, uh, up uh, 25 bucks almost, uh, up 4% almost. And uh, post-market, it's, it's currently at 6.99. Minus 281, uh, minus 0.4%. So when we see this candle today, we think, wow, this is a nice candle. Everything was nice today. Well, it was not that nice if you looked at it. I made the mistake of looking at Tesla during the day. So I looked at Tesla uh, at, at the five-minute chart with a five-minute chart because um, I saw that Tesla was opening very low. It was opening... Well, it opened basically, we have it here above. Uh, it opened at 651 and uh, even went below our support at 655. Uh, so when I saw that uh, in the five minute chart, I kind of panicked. Uh, this is not good to do that. Panicking or using our emotions is not a good idea in the stock market. We should look at the principles that we are using, the trend lines, if we are using trend lines, uh, the moving averages, if we are, move, if we are using moving averages, uh, indicators. We need to stick to our guns and um, mea culpa, this is not something I did today. So it opened right here. So this is the five minute chart, it opened right here right on top of the uh, support that we had and then did a candle at the bottom here lower. So I thought it was actually going lower. Uh, but then, nope, then uh, it picked up quite fast. It picked up uh, and then finished uh, as we saw. So basically, uh, Tesla respected uh, the support that we have had for a long time. It respected that support. Uh, and as I was panicking, um, I redrew all of my trend lines on this, on the Tesla chart. So look at what they are looking at right now. So uh, I had several channel lines. Uh, it was just a bit too much. It was confusing a little bit. So I made this way nicer and cleaner. So we can readily see that Tesla is in a big upward channel. Tesla got a little bit excited uh, on uh, December 1st. It started going outside the channel and going um, go, going into a second gear. This is how I can express it. It was going in the second gear, so it got a bit too excited and then fell back down exactly on that channel, the bottom line of that channel. So, um, so yeah, this is this is what Tesla is uh, doing right now. So Tesla is in the upper part of the channel. It's in the upper part here. So there is nothing that would prevent Tesla from zigzagging within that channel. So this is a fact of life. It can zigzag within the channel. Um, so if I had drawn this uh, this nice channel the way it's drawn right now before. I might not have bought Tesla here when I bought it on March 11th at 700. Um, and uh, yeah, so so this is something I'm still learning. So sometimes I get in a bit too fast, a bit too late. Well, usually a bit too fast. 
And then uh, I have to suffer for it because I have to suffer through a little bit of downside until it picks up again. So, and this is very hard on my nerves. So basically, um, so basically Tesla so far is respecting this support 655. It's respecting the support very well, but I would not be surprised if Tesla would go down and test the support back again. So it can test the support. It could test the support soon like this and then resume. But I would prefer if Tesla would test the support this way. Like I'm not doing much. I'm staying pretty much still and I'm going to test the support eventually and resume. So, um, so if I had to pick a scenario, I would pick this one uh, because uh, I think that, well, I, I am not sure if Tesla can just go super parabolic again. So uh, basically, um, we are going to see when Tesla is going to test uh, the support. The later, the better. Uh, if we look at the indicators, uh, Stochastic had a dip uh, because of yesterday, but now it picked up uh, again, 62, so inching up. MACD also inching up, but still uh, under zero, so still negative in terms of in terms of the trend. So, so the MACD, the crossing of the blue and red line is indicating a change in direction, but it's still not expressing a change in trend to an uptrend. So it's just showing that, well, it's going back up a little bit, but a stock can be in a downtrend and still have some moves up like this, moving up, moving up, moving up, but still be in a downtrend. So each moving up like this will be shown with the MACD crossing like it's doing right now, but the two lines of the MACD being under uh, zero. So, uh, so, uh, so, yeah. So eventually MACD will cross zero and everything will be fine. Uh, the DMI. DMI still, uh, DMI is, is an indicator I really like and I tweaked it a little bit. So I am using, um, I am not using the standard D DMI. I thought that the standard DMI was a bit too quick. Uh, so I am using a 21 day D DMI. So uh, this is something you can adjust in any um, tec uh, technical analysis software. You can just, Enter 21 as the ADX smoothing and the DI length. That's it. And I think the regular um, values are 14 for both. Uh, so basically, I use it like this. So um, and and DMI, I can say, is really really nice. You know, it's showing it's showing more the long term trend. So if we look at the, at Tesla, if you had only listened to the DMI, the DMI would have told you on April 7th of last year, it would have told you, buy Tesla. This is what it said, buy Tesla. And if you look at, if we look at where Tesla was at, Tesla was uh, post split at around a hundred bucks. So, uh, so pre split, it was around 500 bucks uh, after the big uh, COVID uh, crash. So basically, if you only look at the DMI, you would have bought Tesla here at uh, 100 bucks and you would have held it. You could have sold it around here when the DMI started to cross back and forth at this point. So, so this was harder to trade starting from the end of sep September to uh, mid-November. It was hard to, to trade because then, because ba basically the stock was moving sideways, doing some zigzag, and uh, the DMI was crossing also, crossing, crossing, crossing. And uh, one note you need to understand is that with the DMI, you need to listen to the crosses of the red line and the green line only when the black line is above 20. So 
So then we see that the black line here uh, started go down, started to go down below 20. So then it meant that the market has no direction and there's not much uh, we can do. Basically, right now, the DMI uh, black line is at uh, over 20. So it should mean something. So basically, this is a great example of uh, if you had only listened to the DMI, you could have caught uh, a great ride with, with Tesla. And then again, on uh, November 16th, it would have told you, well, well, you should buy Tesla at 444. And then you would have held it until until uh, 800 something. So that's a nice 100% uh, gain. So the DMI is showing long-term trends. Uh, it's showing them very nicely. And uh, right now it's still showing a downtrend because the red line is above the green line. So, so for the DMI, uh, Tesla is still in a downtrend. Uh, but then again, Tesla is uh, obeying the support line we have at, um, at, 650, at 652. So who's going to win? Is it the support that's going to win and Tesla will remain above 652 forever or for a long time? Or is it the, or is it the DMI that will uh, win and Tesla will go down from 6, from six um, and, and break the 652 support? I don't know. I don't know. I don't predict. I don't predict the stock prices. I try to understand the patterns that the stock is doing. And if I understand the pattern, I can get in at the right moment and write the pattern and then get out when the pattern changes. So this is the philosophy I have. I don't do price predictions. I don't know what Tesla will, will be worth a week from now, a month from now. Uh, I listen to some people that uh, do some fundamental analysis of Tesla and they make some calculations, the real financial analysts, and they make a calculation. They say, well, boom, Tesla should be worth this much, 1500 bucks in so many years or even 15,000 bucks. I've, I've heard a lot of uh, numbers. I don't do that. I, I just look at reality because sometimes the financial advisors uh, well, most of the auto analysts were, well, did not understand why Tesla stock was so high. And in their mind, they thought that Tesla was supposed to be worth a certain amount. And if you had listened to them, you would never had have uh, bought Tesla. But if you look at the stock chart and you see that the stock chart is really moving up and there's a big long trend, why not take the trend? Why not ride the trend? Because the stock market is the truth. It is the truth. What is the stock price worth right now? How much people are willing to pay for the stock? This is, this is the sum total. This is the end result. This is the conclusion. The conclusion is this. And we are trying to find the conclusion and look at the changes in conclusion. Anyway, I'm uh, getting philosophical. Uh, hit hit the like button if you like those things, or if I should just shut up and and keep going. So um, so hopefully, so this green candle is telling me that there's still a lot of force in Tesla's market. Um, and the Fed today announced. I only briefly read what they said. So basically, this afternoon, they uh, announced that they are keeping the interest uh, rate uh, low. And they think that inflation will be a little bit higher than 2%. So how will the market react? Well, it has already reacted. So we had this, if I go back to, uh, let's say, the hour chart. Uh, so we had a nice swing. Uh, well, I have a hard time reading this. Uh, well, we are on the 17th, yes. So towards, so from the last three hours of the day, we had this swing. So, uh, so this is how the market has reacted to that news. So very interesting. I can't wait to see what will happen tomorrow.
So thank you very much. Uh, please subscribe. Uh, please like this video if you like it. Uh, please leave me your comments about uh, what I just said about emotions um, and what I said about not trying to predict the market and trying to look at the patterns. Do you agree with that? And are there things that I should see that I don't see? Please share share with me. If you share with me, I will share with you back. And this way we can all learn and all get better and make money and have fun. So thank you very much again. I wish you a great evening and I am telling you à la prochaine.